Hey everyone, Jordan Claycott here, and as you can see, this is the Incipio Edge case. This is the dark purple slider shell offered by Incipio. Um, as you can see here, this is the standard AT&T packaging, and this case is brought to you by all4cellular.com. All the number four and cellular.com. Com, as you can see on the screen. There's great offers and deals on this site, not just for iPhones, but for other cell phones and tablets and all sorts of electronic devices. I've sent many people there, and I hope you guys will go on and take a look. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get into this case. It looks really dark in this lighting, so I'll be curious to see how it is once we get it out of this packaging. No, I did not go to the AT&T store to get this. I do all my case shopping online, where I can see all sorts of information and everything but I got a fantastic deal on this even more than that and hence the AT&T packaging let's go ahead and open this pretty basic as you can see here you'll get it for $29.99 if you pay the full retail price here's the case itself it is definitely very dark like I said this is the dark purple one this was the only one available at the time I didn't have a problem with that it was a fantastic deal as you can see here, very basic slider case. Let's go ahead and open this up. Pretty basic little cutout here. Just some simple instruction stuff. Ordering this case from Incipio, your packaging will be a little bit different and it will come with a screen protector, a cleaning cloth, and an applicator card, but not a problem. I have many of those. Alright, um, I can definitely see it is purple in my lighting. Not sure how the camera's translating it. It's probably going to look a little bit more black to you guys. But nonetheless, it is quite a bit purple. Alright, so like I said, a basic slider case. This part on the bottom here pops in and out pretty decently. I'll be curious to see how it compares to the Incipio slider, which I had on my 3GS, which had a problem of sliding apart the second I pulled it out of my pocket. I am noticing right now it comes apart a little bit, but you know, we'll see how that is. We got some cutouts here. And let's just go ahead and put this on the phone. Here we go. Let's just wipe that over quick. Slide this in. As you can see here, it's got a little piece of rubber to help protect your device. All right, it's really gripping it. I'm not scared of it falling out, that's for sure. I'm scared of breaking something. Holy cow. Alright. Oh, I heard a snap. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. We'll hope that's good. And let's go ahead and pop the bottom on. Alright. So it looks like it's done a little bit of damage to the screen protector. But not too bad. I could probably get that bubble out if I was trying right now. That's pretty much the only place I see it's popped up here. The rest looks pretty much good. Alright, as we can see on the back here, pretty tight cutout for the camera, so I'm not sure if we're going to have any glare or anything like that, but I personally don't use my flash very often. I like, I like to keep it off most of the time. I like more of a natural light thing in my pictures. Up here we got open cutouts for headphones and the hold lock button. It's actually... We got a little bit of the back of the phone exposed. Not really the back of the phone, but you guys can see what I'm talking about. On the side here, we got some exposed area here for your uh, volume controls. On the bottom here, we have one giant cutout for everything down here. Uh, I do notice a bit of like a little, I think it'll focus. Yeah, a little line here. I don't know if it's from the molding or what. Not a big deal, it is on the bottom. There we are back on the top. It does have a lip here so you can set it down like this, not be worried. It's definitely got a thick feel in the hand. There's thicker cases and there's thinner cases. It seems pretty average. Uh, it's a little weird of a feel with my finger in that slot there, but not a problem. Most cases have this area covered up, so I guess I'm not, ex I'm not used to it being exposed like that. Like I said, though, this is the Incipio Edge case, and I will have a full-on review coming to you soon. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.